We have uh, two co-problems. Co uh, one of those is indoor air quality in general. And so we're interested in what people might be experiencing, the range of symptoms that they may be having, and how that might be related to exposure to indoor uh, molds. And then the other problem is the problem of hauntings where people may feel very uncomfortable in their homes and maybe ascribing some of the experiences that they have that could be linked to exposure to other things to ghosts or other things that could be going bump in the night. It's something I've been interested in for quite a long time actually. I've been passionate about ghost stories and hauntings and ghost shows and ghost movies and all those sorts of things. So, um, and I also am obviously passionate about environmental engineering and public health and knowing you know, similarities between things that people are reporting when they're having issues with indoor air quality problems and the types of things that people report in hauntings. I just felt that there's similarities there that are worth exploring. There's been quite a history of people who have been exposed to toxic molds that have reported things like depression, anxiety, other health effects from living in homes. And more recent research is starting to link what people have been expressing as symptoms of living in places where there's toxic molds to more specific results from laboratory studies with animals and other things showing inflammatory reactions in the sinuses and also in the brain. So I never knew mold would be able to just cause any kind of anxiety or anything and this is all brand new. I'm learning how to work with all these new things and it's it's great. I, everything is just brand new. What's the scariest mold to you, do you think? Black mold. Just general black mold. That one's very dangerous. You see it all around and it's common around the areas that we're researching because um, mostly around bathrooms with open doors. You can get all the water from the showers and sinks and stuff and it goes all over windowsills and that's one of the things we're looking into because it's just common air mold. This research is really all about air quality. Uh, I think that a lot of people think it's all about ghost busting and trying to figure out things, but it's really about the air quality and Dr. Rogers is really good at explaining a lot of the background information that goes into these things. He's really good at you know showing us exactly what we're doing and what we're using and how to apply it to bigger things. So. A lot of it isn't necessarily just about, oh, this is type A, this is type B. A lot of it is, you know, well, how can this be applied in the bigger picture? How can we use this out in the real world?